Guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to do these mini shells. I just real quick wanted to show you a close-up of, of this stitch. They're like mini shells that are stacked one on top of the other. And to do this pattern, you're going to need a, a worst weight yarn or any size yarn and whatever hook that that yarn recommends. I'm using worst weight yarn which is 4 ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia and I'm using a 5 millimeter hook or a size H hook. This stitch is done in multiples of three and what that means is that you're going to chain in threes so you'll chain three, 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 three and when you've got it the width that you want then you're ready to start. Okay so I chained in multiples of three I think I got 16, what, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I have 18. And um, so it doesn't matter, just get your desired width. And then you want to double crochet uh, in the fourth chain from the hook. So count 1, 2, 3, 4. So in this fourth chain, you want to put three double crochets. 1, 2, Two, three double crochets worked all in that same chain stitch. Then you want to skip two. So one, two, and then this next chain, put three double crochets. Okay, I'm very sorry about that. I got a telephone call just then. Bad timing. So we just skipped two, and we put three double crochets in the next chain. We're going to repeat that for the whole row going to skip two and then the next you're going to work three double crochets. So continue to do this until you have two chains on the end of your row. Okay when you come to the end of your row and you have two chains left then you're going to skip one chain and then double crochet in the very last chain. And this will even up your row. The three chains that you skipped here at the beginning two of them count as a double crochet and then the third counts as that chain one that you skip on the end so it evens it all out. Now to start row two and all other rows from here on out you want to chain three one two and three I hope this isn't too close you want to chain three and then turn. Now this chain or double crochet that's here, that's the border, you're always going to skip that. It's always going to be the chain three or the double crochet at the end of your row. You always want to put your double crochet in the center of these three double crochets. So you'll always be working in the center. So basically when you start, you're going to skip one stitch, because as I said, this first one won't count ever. You'll skip one stitch and then in the next you'll start your three double crochets. So I'm going to skip one and do my three double crochets in the center double crochet. I know it can be confusing at the beginning of the row to know if someone's counting this very first stitch or not. You know, do you skip the very first stitch? the chain, does the chain three count as a first stitch? It, so it's really confusing so I'm just separating it out. This will never count as a stitch, okay? You'll just skip one and then you'll do your first three set in the center. Now for the rest of the row you'll be skipping two. You'll be skipping this which is the third double crochet so you'll skip that and then you'll skip the next one which is the first double crochet which will bring you to the middle. So basically you're just skipping the last double crochet of this set and the first double crochet of this set. So you'll skip two, one, two, and then the third you'll work your three double crochets. And you should be aligned in that center middle double crochet again. They should line up center to center. And then you'll be repeating that for the row. You'll skip two, and then the third, you'll work your three double crochets in that same stitch. So just continue down your row and I'll show you how to end your row. Okay, I just did my last 
set of three. Now all I'm left with is the last, the last double crochet of this set. Here in the center is where you worked your set of three. So you have the last double crochet of the set and then you have your chain on this side. Now the chain, the top of the chain here is where you're going to want to end your row by putting a double crochet. So skip this stitch here, this one stitch, and double crochet in the last chain stitch of the row. And I'll back out so you can see, at least I hope I'll back out. I was going to say you could start with the foundation. I know some people prefer uh, to start with the foundation because if you don't, see the chains are so much less stretchier than the rest. You can fix that by just not um, chaining too tightly here. So you can loosely chain. I obviously didn't loosely chain so it's pulling a little bit. But um, you can do a foundation single crochet for your first uh, row and it will work as well. So again when you want to start your next row, again you'll chain three, always chain three at the end, turn, skip this first double crochet of the set and working in the middle. So skip one and work your first set of three single, uh, three double crochets in that first middle double crochet. And then again from now on you'll be skipping two stitches, one, two, and then the third you'll work your three double crochets. And you're going to be repeating this over and over and over again. It's a very easy, simple stitch. But I think it looks really nice. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share. It really helps me out a lot. Also, if you're wondering what kind of hook this is, this is the wooden furls hook. And also, um, if you want to order one of these, I recommend that you order it with the elongated uh, handle or hook. And also, if you haven't joined my Crochet for the Masses group yet, you should do that because it is a really fun place to share pictures of stuff that you have crocheted, maybe some really nice uh, free patterns that you ran into. You can share links to those. Um, or just uh, get your questions answered because there's a lot of people who have been crocheting for a long time on that board and they're always willing to help people out. So that's it guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Mm -hmm.